nobody wins when the family feels. Why wow, must all uh, go on Instagram live? Why wow, must all uh, good niggas down on Instagram live? Wrong 12 out here, they got my head. I'm ready to let it hit on 12 on Instagram, y'all. I'm ready to let it hit on 12, y'all, on Instagram, y'all. Y'all think I'm playing? Look. Rescreen record this. OG Bobby Johnson, ready to go out. 046. Yeah, Rambo. I'm going out with a bang. I told him, Crash, get the fuck here. It's real, nigga. Shaw Squad, baby. Rambo. I'm go I got the AK in here. You feel me? The ARP. Yeah, I got three highly powered machine guns in this. I'm going to take 10 police officers with me before I go. Barricade situation in Baltimore County. It all began following a report of an assault in the Arbutus area. When police got there, three children and one adult were being held in a home by a man with a gun. Tactical and hostage negotiators were called in, and those people are free tonight. The children are doing okay, but the adult was taken to the hospital. Right now, we don't know their condition. In the last 24 hours, Baltimore police was in pursuit of a barricade situation with the Baltimore man that was on Instagram Live. Now, the man that was on Live apparently stabbed himself in the heart and communicated with his audience he's going to take his life via Instagram Live. Now, unfortunately, this story gets much more intense. During that Instagram Live, this Baltimore man had discussed being responsible for six bodies being dropped in Baltimore. Family, we talking real Sierra UK type of business. On top of that, he claims one of those bodies got his homie life after selling him his firearm and crushing him till this day. Plus, it was later determined that his girlfriend and the mother of his three kids was also stabbed in front of their kids inside their apartment. And this man wanted her to tell his story if she survived while her face was turning blue. You don't worry, but I don't want to have the key anymore. I don't know what I got down. You want to do right here? Oh, Antonio. Antonio. Oh. Antonio. Where would you get up? Antonio. I need your arms. No, I need your shirt, your shirt. Are you playing right now? Huh? No, I'm ready. No, I need you to... I don't really that. You said I'm blue? Mm hmm That's why I'm trying to keep you warm. I need you to... You gotta tell everybody my story, baby, if you live, right? I can't, I'm not gonna open it. You can tell he mentally not there, family. Now you guys will be able to check out this Instagram live that's YouTube friendly with the edits. But I'm gonna let you know this now, family. It's important to know that this suspect didn't get the results he was hoping for at the end of his Instagram live. But in this video, we will give him a brief introduction on who he is, where he live, and the neighborhood he claimed in Baltimore. Plus, two of the six bodies we will talk about with one having his friend serve 100 years plus in prison for something he didn't do. So before we get into this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna jump right to it. Tactical and hostage negotiation officers were called Saturday to a barricade situation at around 8 a.m. in the 4800 block of Greenville Square. This neighborhood is also referenced to as Rambo because of the name Rambo Court, also in this neighborhood. Officers said they made contact with a man who refused to cooperate and said he had a handgun. In an update Saturday afternoon, police said that three juveniles and an adult was also barricaded in the apartment, who was all family members of the suspect, who people close to the situation was noticing was also on Facebook Live. That man was identified as Antonio Hunt. After going live, he ended up stabbing himself in the chest. You can hear a woman in the video, as we mentioned, say she's turning blue. In this nine minute plus Instagram live, Antonio can be heard confessing to six different bodies. One landed a young man, 115 years in prison. Sterling Matthew was 17 years old. When authorities claim he shot and took the life of another teen 
16 years old, Daquan Burks. On Twin Circle Way, Burks was with two other men who was also shot, but they survived. Now listen close, family, because Antonio mentioned the same mask. Authorities claim on the night of the shooting, Matthews, who wore a mask from the movie Hellraiser, as he stalked a group of trick-or-treaters through Lansdale before shooting Daquan and two other victims. Daquan, as we mentioned, didn't make it. May he rest in peace and loving prayers to his family. Now, Matthew Sterling, he rejected a 15-year plea, went to trial, and received 115 years at the age of 19 years old. And at least now, we can assume why he rejected the plea. Now, another one of the bodies that Antonio had confessed to on Instagram Live was a guy he claimed he went to go spin his block. He shot back. Antonio returned 45 minutes later and took his life. He went by the name Tyran Smoot. He was just 18 years old when he was shot on Sterling Court in 2011 and came to his demise. May he rest in peace and loving prayers to his family. Now, before I give you guys the conclusion as far as the status of the baby mother, the three kids, and Antonio, check out his Instagram live. Wow, I must all go on Instagram live. Why well, must all good niggas down on Instagram live? Long live George, who ride? You please kindly get away from my house. I do not want to open fire on you. Get the f I have a hundred round drum, AK-47 here, and everybody going to the revolution must be televised. Get the 12. I'm tired of y'all harassing me and oppressing me. Y'all been doing this my whole life since 98, since I was six years old. I'm ready to surround the house, do whatever y'all going to do. Y'all going to Listen, no, I'm not going to open the door. And if you come and try to use force at the door, I'm going to shoot. So step off the porch, officer. Please step off the porch, officer. Get me a hostage negotiator here now. This is live. Antonio Hunt is going to get the get, get the police. You got the camera. I'm fighting y'all. Y'all household up, bro. Y'all household up. Get the. I'm about, I'm about to. Sh All right, buddy, Ray, dummy. I'm Ray, dummy, money. I love you, cuz. I love you, cuz. I stand myself through the hood. You hear me? 12 out here, they got my head. I'm ready to let it hit on 12 on Instagram, y'all. I'm ready to let it hit on 12, y'all, on Instagram, y'all. Y'all think I'm playing? Look. We screen record this. OG Bobby Johnson, ready to go out. 046. Yeah, Rambo. I'm going out with a bang. I told him, crash, get the from here. It's real, man. Shot squad, baby. Rambo. I'm go I got the AK in here. You feel me? The ARP. Yeah. I got three highly powered machine. Going to take 10 police officers with me before I go. Y'all got Glocks. I got Glock. I got an AK. And we going to have fun. Okay? Get the hostage negotiator to come to the front door. To step on the front. If y'all come any close. You hear me, cousin? You hear me, cousin? I ain't worried about nothing, nigga. And I'm thugging. And money, you on this shit? Tell me you love me, nigga. Yeah, I'm dying today. I can't take it no more. I watched everybody die around me. Sterling Matthews is doing a life sentence right now. Is doing a life sentence right now in Cumberland for somebody wing with a Hellraiser mess. I had that Glock, that Glock 17. And that 25 caliber that night that killed Daquan. I did that at 2010, Halloween. Pin raising mask. Boy, Sterling ain't do that shit. I love you, woo baby, but he ain't do that shit. Big Rambo did that shit 2010. Stopped on him. Yeah, Tyrant him too, 2011. I come to up the apartments playing games. Came through the lake playing games. Stepped on his jazz. Came through let off shots. Ain't hit me. Double back in 48 minutes and kicked that nigga, dummy. You hear me? Stepped on him. Old die at them. Try to say I read it. Niggas try to say I read it. So I walked Mark inside. He threw the alley and Rambo caught and gave it 10 shots in his head, too. Boom. 
boom, 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 boom. Then I stood over him, dummy. Boom, 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 boom. What you talking about? Then I went, dummy, I'm dead, dummy. I'm dead. Then I went down Calhoun Street. Then I went down Calhoun Street. And I like three niggas down there. You feel me? Yes, money. Make sure this shit gets out. You got this that's doing time sentence for a shot in dead. You feel me? Cool. Cool. I still don't bend for the hood. Niggas doing and doing, yeah, doing time behind me. But I'm going to go out with a bang today and I ain't going to leave nobody behind, bro. No guys far behind. I feel bad. That shit hurt me to my heart. Sterling Matthews doing a life sentence behind his fucking dog. He ain't know that what I did with that rod. He ain't know shit did with that rod. Yeah. You try and get. <laughs> hey, don't try and get shot too. He talking about dummy. He think I'm scared of him. This dumb time out nigga right here. I got a, a Draco in his 100 shots. I got an ARP with 60 in it. And I got a Glock with 230s. So you, are you gonna die today? Hey, if I hit this Draco, you better duck behind that wall. You hear me? When I hit this Draco, you better duck. I'm trying to at least take like three of them 40 shots. Hey, yo, when y'all shoot me, yo, don't hit my pretty face. Hit me in my heart, yo, all right? Hit me in my heart so my son can have an open casket, yo, all right? I'm going that day on IG Live. Oh. I love y'all, yo. I'm going that day on IG Live. I bleed blood for this shit. I bleed blood for this shit. I already stabbed myself through the heart. So if y'all come, I'm going to open y'all up. You hear me? Y'all f***ing my family up, bro. I don't hurt my family. I don't do nothing. Y'all keep oppressing me, bro. Y'all is going to die. Bro, you a black man. I don't, I'm a hate. I want to put you 12 too, so I'm going to smoke you. I'm going to take three of y'all with me. Bro, if you hit me with that Glock, hit me in my heart. Don't hit me in my head because I could be brain dead but still living. So hit me in my heart, nigga, so I can really feel it. Fuck talking about? You done? Yeah, my little man got the front surrounded. So if y'all come, we gonna kill y'all, period. Get the hostage negotiator here right now. I need some confessions to do about murders and all that before I die. You hear me? You ready to be famous, you hear me? I'm ready to make this black cop right here famous. I'm trying to keep you warm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you gotta tell everybody my story, baby, if you live, right? I can't, I'm not gonna open it. As you can see, that video was tough, even with the edits. 
Now it hasn't been confirmed, but sources close to the family say Antonio Hunt didn't make it. But the young woman, she was transferred to the hospital in critical condition. As of now, the three kids wasn't harmed. Wanna say rest in peace to everyone who lost their life in this video. Loving prayers to you guys' families. Also, send a loving prayers to those kids. As more develop, I keep you guys updated. Fam, this was the story of a Baltimore man going to Instagram live, stabbing himself in his heart, confessing to bodies that he allegedly done before losing his life and stabbing his baby mother slash girlfriend in the process in front of their three kids. Let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.